SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Robotrek. There's a lot of crap I have to show you here. This is going to be kind of a Dullsville episode to start with, but um, there's a bunch of stuff I need to show you. I've grinded off screen to get to level 6, uh, so there's some uh, junk down here I need to do. Uh, the first thing is I screwed up one of the attacks. Um, the attack functions here, the see where murder and crash, th this one should actually be RLL. Um, and that doesn't literally mean sword shot shot. It's actually it functions as a code that um, allows you to, to, act, to attack all the enemies on screen. And um, there's another code I want to add in here that I looked up online. It's XRR and what it does, and it's very important for this next boss fight here. It uh, allows you to jump around the enemy and attack him from behind. So yeah, it's one of those kind of games where it's like positioning matters. It's so I'm going to call this, I think the game unofficially calls it Backstab. So that's what I'm going to call it. And that is, uh, yeah, you're going to need that against this next boss here. Uh, the giant crab or lobster or whatever he is. Um... Yeah, and not only that, we want to make another robot as kind of a backup to our current robot that count costs 3,000 gold. And I like the robot making sequence here. You got these two little dwarf guys that come out of the thing, do a little dance, teleport, put this, plug this thing in. I like it. And... Hurry it up. Come on. I like it, but not that much. <laughs> All right. Ta-da. And it's a blue robot. I think I'm going to keep them blue. I like that color. It's kind of a purple blue. And I'm going to stick with my theme of old-time names that aren't used very often. Like Leonard. And this guy, you can do whatever you want with the, um, oh, I've got all the points from leveling up. Yeah, he comes out at the same level, essentially, with the same amount of points as your other robot. And I'm gonna, you can do whatever you want, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm gonna do, like, a speed power thing. Leave the rest at zero. So he can be kind of a quick strike machine. Of course, he'll get killed instantly, but, um, what else did I need to do? Oh, I need to program him with uh, skills too. He needs to have at least uh, murder and, or crash rather and backstab. Backstab will be the first one. Isn't this exciting watching me put in letters and stuff? Maybe I should cut this out. Eh, whatever. Who cares? And let's do the next one as uh, RLL. Yeah. Like I said, the, the, the sequence there is kind of a code. It's like almost like a password so, to activate other special abilities that you can do. I guess the idea is that you kind of use trial and error to figure out what those are. There's a whole bunch of other ones. I just I, I kind of cheated and looked that one up online. Because it's, it's really how you beat the next boss. If you meet the boss head on, it's, you're going to have a bad time. Next thing we want to do, um, since we learned uh, a new skill with uh, the leveling up, I want to take this level 5 sword off of Larry here and kind of hold that aside. And I want to uh, create... Whoops. Where is the... There we go. I want to create two hammer ones. That's the ability you learn with uh, leveling up to uh, level 6. If you create two hammer ones and combine those for a hammer level two, that become you can combine that with your sword. And I'll show you what that what that is. Let's back out here, go to the combination screen. Again, this game is like a combination of about a million different games. There's a lot of great ideas here in this game. That's why I recommend it so much. It is a, the game is a little unpolished. The translation's a little goofy, and it leaves a lot unexplained. There we go with our hammer too. It leaves a lot unexplained. Like you have to figure out stuff for yourself in this in this game. And as you can see, I'm I'm already pushing five minutes here. 
and all I'm doing is just screwing around in the invention thing. There, you can do a lot with this thing and find out on your own what works. But yeah, you get the X, a level seven X at that point, and that is much, much stronger than uh, the sword, as you can see. See, I went from 35 to 100, and from here I went from 30, or wait. You know what, I'm gonna create another ax too, but I'm gonna do that off screen. There we go, now we have a level nine ax. Why didn't I make the other one level nine? Cause I'm just, I don't really care. Just, <laughs> I really don't. See that though? 30 to 115, that's a little absurd. But you know what, I don't care. Yeah, he's up to 100. So, okay, let us go back to the other thing. Let's save real quick. Yeah, if you die, that's your, your save point. Okay, here we are. We are back, and all you got to do is talk to this guy twice, and you'll fight him. Before, the door was just locked. Now it's uh, you can fight this guy. Let's just shoot a missile real quick. Goodbye. That's the most efficient way to take out single enemies. Sometimes you'll mi the bomb will miss. All right. Where's this boss here? Or actually, technically, we're looking for. Uh, oh, gee, what could be in there? I wonder. Oh, there he is. We're looking for Carl, and he's. That's what happened to the bombs up there. He's dropping bombs on his ass. Oh, goodness. And here we go. We got our first boss fight of the game. Complete with really goofy boss music. There you go. That's what Backstab does. It has him jump all the way to the other side of him, no matter where he is on the screen. And uh, my guard is enough that I can withstand his wimpy attacks. Don't even bother with these other crab lobster things. Let's do another one. I think he has like 200 HP, something along those lines. So this shouldn't take too long. Of course, he does have a, some stronger attacks that I hope he doesn't use. There's also a way I completely forget, of course, because God forbid I ever actually be prepared for a, a Let's Play episode. There is a way to configure things so l your second robot can be rolled out in front of your first robot. You can change the sequence. I can't even remember how to do that off the top of my head. I think you do that in the invention room, research room. So um, maybe I'll do that eventually once I level up enough. Wow, that was really, really high, and I'm dead. But in the event that happens, your second robot gets rolled out. But the first thing I want to do, because this guy has zero guard, I want to go to the drunk group, which should be your, your name down there, and apply a repair to Larry. And that will see his stuff sucks. But I will do a backstab. Take down another 40. Nice. See, he should be able to dodge some of these attacks, but he's not... Has, unsuccessful so far. And then we just roll Larry right out, too. Uh, let's repair Leonard. And then I think one more hit should finish him off. There we go. A big exploding crustacean. Or arach Aren't they technically arachnids? Wow, all the way to level 8. Okay. Let's see, yeah, now let's, uh, oops. Get the one gold to get him to full health. And, again, totally up to you. I'm just making shit up. And, yeah, I want to increase his charge a little faster. That'd be nice. There's no right or wrong way to, to program your guys. You can do it however the hell you want, really. Yeah, I want to apply the rest of this to charge instead of speed. Because there's a, it's kind of a flawed way to, to build one of your robots, but... Let's see here. 
Anything else I need to do while I'm here? Not really. Not that I can think of. So, let's... What happens? Yeah, he's gone. Whoa. Huh? Oh, okay. Hey, money. I'll always accept money. Cool. So. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you for being polite, at least. Hmm. Good to come here. What? It's, translation is very strange. All right. You know what? I think I'm going to call that an episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.